Hi, I'm Sarah and this is Wendy and we're the tutors for Makeup Artistry at SGS College. If you're watching this video then you're interested in applying for a level 2 or a level 3. Keep watching and we'll tell you all the information that you need to know in order to be able to apply. Units for level 2 hair and medium makeup are apply makeup, themed face painting, lash and brow treatments, tanning, photographic makeup, body art, and also hairdressing units including shampooing, consultation and the art of dressing hair. These units will be delivered by a hairdressing tutor, a makeup artistry tutor and a beauty specialist tutor. The GCSE requirement for level 2 hair and media makeup is three GCSEs at C or above, one of which must be English. As part of level 2 you'll be expected to do work experience. Much of this will be done supporting the level 3 group as we find this is really good experience ready for those that want to progress to level 3. Uniform for level 2 consists of a black tunic and smart black trousers. This reflects the elements of the course which are hairdressing, beauty therapy and makeup artistry. It's important to look professional whichever salon we're working in. You'll need to also wear flat black clothes thin shoes, jewellery should be kept to a minimum, your hair needs to be tied back, nails should be short, clean and polish free. Most students want to progress onto level 3 makeup artistry after completing the level 2 and we will be talking to you about how that's possible as well. As part of the level 3 qualification in makeup artistry, you'll take units such as media makeup, fashion photographic makeup, airbrush makeup, camouflage, face and body art, prosthetics and bald caps, and fantasy hairdressing for performers. You'll have a specialist makeup tutor who will teach you makeup units and a specialist hairdresser who will teach you hairdressing skills to support your qualification. GCSE requirements are that you need to have three GCSEs at a C or above, one must be in English and one should be in math. The level three qualification is primarily a practical course. You will have some theory involved in your course. Those will consist of multiple choice question test papers and assignments that you'll be doing. For the most part, you'll be taught skills on a practical basis and then assessed on those skills in a practical basis environment. As part of the level three, you'll be involved in professional work experience. We like to support the students to gain as much experience as possible throughout the course and you'll get tons of tutor support to be able to help find that work experience. One of the things that we offer the students on a yearly basis is work experience at Frightmare at Over Farm, where we provide the makeup for performers. It's really fun and it's a really good team atmosphere. Um, students enjoy doing it so much that they ask if they can come back the next year. In the past, level three students have gone on to win World Skills first place gold. We've won twice out of the three times that we entered and all three times we made it into the finals. We like to support students to win competitions and to take part in competitions as much as possible. The students on level three work very hard and to a very high standard. We expect a good quality of work from the students on level three and a lot of commitment from the students on level three. Kit on the level three belongs to you when you finish the course. Every year the kit is taken apart and put back together to make sure that we have the most industry relevant products and that it is streamlined as much as possible to make it affordable for all learners. As part of the level three, you'll also pay materials fees. Materials fees go to all of the things that you'll use here at college. That goes from printing, to stock that we keep in the cupboards, towels and laundry, etc. Uniform on the level three will consist of a makeup artistry t-shirt. It says makeup artist across the front and makes everyone feel as though they're part of a team and looks professional when we go out on work experience. You'll need to wear this to every lesson. You'll pair this with black clothing. Black trousers, skirts, tights and leggings are all appropriate. Black shoes must be flat and closed toed. Earrings must be small, no bracelets or rings are permitted. Nails must be short, clean and free of nail polish. On both level two and level three, we expect you to have 90% attendance at all times. Punctuality is very important to us. There's no reason to be late for your lessons, so please be on time. SGS College is committed to their students and offers a wide range of support. If you need help with anything, please let us know. This includes learning support help, financial support, and any other support you could think of. Now that you've heard about the courses, Sarah is going to explain the next stage of the application process. We'd like to invite you to apply for a skills test interview. This is an interview where you'll be auditioning for the course and showing us your skills, professionalism, and excitement to be part of the course. We'd like you to present us with a mood board that's designed to the theme given. 
The mood board that you've produced tells us a lot about you as a student, so please put effort into this mood board. This is going to show us the quality of work that we can expect from you as a student. You can bring any model that you like and any makeup that you want to use. Please just make sure that the makeup is clean. Models can be anyone, so please don't panic about finding the prettiest girl you can find. Brothers, nans, mothers, neighbors, etc. are all acceptable models. We'd like you to do a makeup for us within 30 minutes. During this time, we'll be asking you questions and looking at the work that you produce. As part of this interview, we'll be able to decide whether or not you should be placed on level 2 or level 3. When the interview is finished, we'll look at the work that you've produced and then have a quick chat with you afterward to decide which level is appropriate. We wish you the best of luck with your skills test and we're very excited to meet you. Please now thoroughly read through the information with this presentation. We look forward to seeing you at skills test.